in America when you have an emergency. An emergency is when something terrible happens and you need help. When you have an emergency, you dial 911. Pick up your phone, dial 911. And a person will answer. It's a dispatcher. It's called a dispatcher. The dispatcher will answer and say, 911, what is your emergency? Then you basically just explain what happened. And then they will decide who to send. If there's an injury, someone is hurt, they need to go to the hospital, an old man has fallen down on the street, please send an ambulance. So they will send an ambulance, and in the ambulance, the people who drive it, and the people who help, they're called paramedics. Paramedics are uh, the people who come to take you to the hospital in the ambulance. And if, for example, someone has fallen down on the street, then they will need a stretcher. It's like a, a bed. When it is actually driving on the road, there are sirens, which is the wee-oo, wee-oo, and, and lights. And actually, the cars that are driving on the road have to get out of the way. They have to. It's the law. So if you're driving in your car and you hear wee-oo, wee-oo behind you, it's an ambulance, police car, fire truck, you actually have to move your car over to the side of the road to get out of the way so that the ambulance can very quickly go through. Ambulance rides in America are really, really expensive. If you don't have health insurance, that's what you will pay. Health insurance is what you will pay each month in case you need to go to the hospital. If you don't have that, an ambulance ride, only 15 minutes, a 15 minute ambulance ride could cost up to about $1,800. $1,800 for a 15-minute ambulance ride. That's in New York. So, you need to have insurance, and if you don't, <laughs> maybe it's better if you just die. I've actually had to call 911 a few times. Once was when there was a car accident, and I had to call and explain where the car accident had been, and they sent an ambulance to, and police, to figure out who was responsible and also to take the injured people to the hospital. But another time was actually not long ago. Here in New York, I was sitting at home and I think I was eating dinner and my neighbors were fighting. They were shouting, you could hear rah rah rah, rah 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 rah. That's pretty normal, <laughs> they do that a lot. I thought, okay no problem and then after a few minutes I heard help 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 so that's more serious than just a fight right this could be you know maybe an injury domestic violence when maybe a husband beats a wife or a wife beats a husband could be so I thought oh no I ran out of my apartment and my other neighbor had run out too. And he said, did you hear that? And I said, yeah. He said, okay, we should call 911. Yes, let's call 911. So I picked up my phone, dialed 911. The dispatcher said, 911, what is your emergency? And I said, yes, I've just heard my neighbor shouting for help. There was some fighting, which I heard. And then someone said, help, help. So I think that you should send some police officers. She said, okay, what's your location? So I told them my address and four minutes later, it was only a couple minutes later, 10 police cars, maybe even more, had come to my apartment building. Their sirens and lights were on and 
armed policemen, that means police with guns, ran up the stairs, knocked on the door, they all had their guns. Open up, open up. Open up means open the door. Open the door. It turns out it was actually nothing. She said help, help, for another reason, not because she was injured or there was anything that serious going on. So it wasn't a big thing, it was a false alarm. False alarm is when you think something bad happened, but actually it didn't. So in that case, all the police came, but nobody, nobody went to jail or anything like that. Nobody was hurt. Uh, but that's the most recent time when I've had to call 911. And if you're in America, it's not that hard. Again, you just pick up the phone, dial 911, explain what happened, tell them where you are, and wait. Hey, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe. And if you really like this video, make sure to check out my Udemy page in the link below. Okay.